Hello guys, I miss you so much after such a long break. I trust that you're all doing very great. Now this is to the girls. I have some new allergies in town. <laughs> now just by the way. Now, I will formally welcome you to our first lesson in English. And for our first lesson, we are going to begin with verbs. And for today's lesson, we are looking at the past continuous. Now, before we begin, let me quickly ask you, do you remember what we said about verbs? I need you to quickly pause the lesson, write your answer in the book, and then compare it with mine to see if you're right. Are you ready? Then let's go. Now, a verb is an action word or a word that expresses a state of being. I hope you got the answer right. Excellent. Now, verbs can exist in various forms. As you can see on the board, we have outlined some few forms of verbs. We have the simple present, the simple past, the present continuous, the past continuous, and so on and so forth. But for the sake of today's lesson, we are going to look at the past continuous forms of verbs. Now, do you have any idea what the past continuous forms of verbs are? From the board, as you can see, from talking about the past continuous forms of verbs, we are talking about the forms of verbs that are used to describe an action that was going on in the past at the time another action or another thing else happened. And we have a very simple and general rule that we use to be able to attain the past continuous form. To get the past continuous forms of verbs, you must make sure that you use the auxiliary verbs was or were in a sentence. And the verb you use in a sentence should be in the ing form, or what we also call the gerund form. The gerund form. Good. Now I'd like us to take some few examples to illustrate the past continuous tense of verbs. Are you ready? Raise yourselves and let's begin. Good. Quickly consider the sentence on the board. The women were eating when we arrived. Sorry, when we left. Let me take the game. The women were eating when we left. As I mentioned earlier on in the rule, you must make sure that you use either the auxiliary verb was or is. I mean, where? Now let's come back to the sentence and see if you will find any of them. The women were. And as you are well aware, the auxiliary verb were and was are usually used to express the past tense forms. And then we also mentioned that the verb should be in the ing form. So let's come back to a sentence and see if we have that. The women were eating. This is the main verb in the sentence. Eat. In the IG form, we have eating. When we left. So from the general meaning we gave to the past continuous forms of verbs, we said that they are used to describe an action that was going on in the past. An action that was going on in the past. The time another thing else happened. So let's come back to the example again and see. The women were eating. So it means that the eating was done in the past. 
And at the same time in the past, we left. The women were eating when we left. I hope that is clear. Let's quickly look at another example. Good. Now, students, let's quickly consider the second example for the past continuous forms of verbs. While I was washing the car, my younger sister was sweeping the garage. As we established, we have was, which is used to show that the action happened in the past. And we also have the verb in the ing form. And then when we come to the second part of the sentence, we have was again and then sweeping. So from this example also, we can understand that when one action was happening in the past, another thing else happened. The first action is that while I was washing the car. So when the wash of the car was happening in the past, my younger sister was sweeping the garage. So that is what we call the past continuous. It is used to express actions that happened in the past, while another action or another thing else also took place. I hope you understand. Good. Let's take our final example to further illustrate what we are talking about. Now let's look at the third example. The men were reading when we arrived. The men were reading when we arrived. Let's quickly check if you can see our markers. We have the auxiliary verb where to show that the sentence talks about the past. Then we have the main verb in the ing or the gerund form. So in this example also, we understand that when the men were reading in the past, another action happened, and that is we arrived. So kids, that is basically what the past continuous tense or forms of verbs are. They basically describe actions that were going on in the past when something else happened. I hope I have explained myself and you have enjoyed today's lesson. Now in our next lesson, we will continue to look at other forms of uh, verbs. Until we meet again, I need to stay safe and continue learning hard. And don't forget to read the notes that we added to the lesson and also do your assignments and submit them on time. Until we meet again, it is 
Bye.